Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your May 15th through the 31st tarot reading. Generally my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Scorpio. You are first. Um, because I didn't get it done for the last segment, I do apologize. I've been running around with like a chicken with my head cut off. So I do apologize. Um... But you're first this time, even before my own sign, you are first. February, or February, February. This may go back to February. Why February came up, I do not know. So, you know, we all know it's May, and we can thank the Lord that it's not February. But anyway, this is for May 15th through the 31st for the sign of Scorpio. If you have an Apple iPhone and you would like a quickie, reading you could check out instago let's see scorpio it looks as though things are out of balance somebody may be feeling a little moody temperamental um sitting on the fence regarding something there's a decision that needs to be made that somebody has been you know sitting on the fence what do I do where do I go how do I handle this you know there's a change ahead of you and it's a scary change right there's, there's some change ahead of you that will lead you to a different destination okay and it will be victorious and sec victorious and successful but you have to um, Acknowledge the fear. You have to step into the fear. Okay, there's fear of change here. This I see that you guys have a new direction right in front of you, but you're probably back and forth about it, wishy-washy. You know, you don't want to make any impulsive decisions. It feels like you're going through a little bit of stress in regards to this decision that you have to make. Somebody could be, you know moving too quickly for you or saying things that you just know aren't true you know you could be dealing with a partner or a person that is all talk and and that's about it um they could be rushing in after you and saying things that they don't even they don't even think before they talk you know the stuff is just flying right out of their mouth and you can and you know you like it you like what you hear but you know it's not true. So it's, it, at that point, you know, you have to make a decision. You know, is this too good to be true? I feel like, you know, you have an opportunity to take this new path. But it, it's pretty scary. It's a scary path, all right? With the two of wands reversed, I feel like you have such a big fear of the unknown that you may decide not to do anything. You know, like, oh my God, this is so scary. You may make a sudden decision to stay or a sudden decision to go. It could Your decision could happen suddenly, okay? But I feel like right now you are probably choosing the safest option, even though it may not be making you happy, okay? I think you are in an environment or you're in a predicament where you're choosing the safest option, but it's not where you really want to be. Okay, it's causing imbalance in your life. Okay, imbalance. You may be feeling a little overwhelmed because you it's like uh, things are happening too fast to make you comfortable. That could be the case, you know. Resisting change. We have the hangman here. You are resisting a change that you know that you need to make. You've been stalling this change with this Knight of Pentacles. You have. The change is needed. It's needed. You need to do it. You do. And it's like, I think you may be faced with a decision to stay or to go. You know, and you're faced with a decision right now. That's what it looks like to me. Because here we have go, stay. Go fast. Go slow. So uh, you're definitely um, conflicted, there's no doubt. You're conflicted mentally over a decision. And I feel like you're resisting this change that is needed. And it's causing you a lot of despair because you know that what you need to do. But, 
me get the rest of the cards. It's like a, you don't want to give up on something. You're clinging to something. You don't want to give up on something. Now, it even could be a marriage or it could be a commitment. Here we have the Justice card with the Six of Cups. I feel as though there is somebody from your past in which could have come back into your life. You know, and they could have come back very abruptly, very quickly. And now you have to decide what do you want to do? Do you want to do you want to give it another shot? Do you want to you want to try this again? Or do you want to stay where you're at right now? It's nice and safe, but it's not necessarily happy. You know what I mean? So I feel like you're in a safe spot right now and you have an opportunity for something, you know, that you're more that you want. Okay, you have an opportunity for something that that you you want to do. Okay? Something that would put you on the right track. It would um bring success and victory to your life. This is somebody from your past, okay? With the 6 of cups. Now, this doesn't mean it has to be a lover, but it's somebody that you've known. In this case, I do feel like it's a past lover, somebody that you have been with in the past that you know, maybe you are even married to or highly committed to, but with the Justice card, it's like it's a karmic situation that you are involved in and you have to make a difficult decision. Do you go back to this person to the past or not? This person from the past is holding you back either way. They're holding you back from moving forward in, it, in one certain direction. And I think that you are being pulled like the, like the tug of war. You're being pulled in two different directions, Scorpio. And it feels as though you're being called to really, really, really think about this, okay? Is the safest option the way to go? Is, is it really the way to go? Or is the happiness that you had in the past the way to go? Right now, things are so out of balance that it's time for you to do the right thing with the Justice card. It's time for you to find that integrity to do the right thing, to make the decision that's going to make you happy, Okay, I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made that you've been resisting. You've been really thinking about it, and it's obvious that you have. You've been thinking about it a lot. And I know that darn, um, let me just turn this light on real quick. Oh, not going to help. Sorry. Sorry about the lighting. Let me see if I shut this curtain. I do apologize, but I want you to be able to see the cards. I guess that's a little better. Okay. Let me get back to this. I'm sorry. It feels as though there is... Like, <laughs> the justice is about a decision, too. You think about when you go to court, it's somebody's making a decision. So this is a huge, huge decision that you have to make right now. And the two of wands is do you stay or do you go? And that's what this is about. Do you stay or do you go? I feel like you guys are in one situation that is safe but it's not happy and you are thinking about somebody from your past that once made you happy and you maybe perhaps you want to give it another shot so I think you've been going through a bit of depression a bit of despair and you would love this person to um, come rescue you you know but you have to you're trying to be practical interesting huh so I feel like the end of this month is about making this difficult decision to stay or go, to do the right thing for you. I mean, that's what the justice is all about. It's about doing the right thing. It's about being honest with yourself. It's about seeking the balance that has been lost in your life because of whatever this is. You've been in a situation that is safe but unbalanced. You know what I mean? So now it's time to seek the balance that you have been ignoring, okay? And I think the balance that you seek is probably with somebody from your past. I mean, that's what it looks like. And, you know, the opportunity to give it one more shot is here. Okay? It's like somebody probably hasn't completely given up. All right? Um, Maybe, you know, you've decided that it's time to look at this person from the past for, from a new perspective because you've been with somebody else that really opened your eyes. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. 
Um, yeah, I think that many of you are about to free yourself from a situation that was not harmonious. It wasn't happy. It wasn't balanced. It there was it was there was like a lot of um, there's somebody you could have been dealing with somebody who had addictions or. Um, they weren't patient with you or something like that. Whatever has, whoever you were dealing with, there was a lot of conflict, okay? And I think now you're to the point where, you know what? I'm ready to start over. I'm ready to start over someplace else. I'm ready to, you know, do the, do the uh, act with integrity because the Page of Pentacles is act with integrity. It's no longer about being impulsive. It's about, um, with the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, it's about doing the practical, responsible um, grounded thing, you know what I mean? I need to plan for my future. And wherever you've been, it was kind of, um, it was fun, okay? It was fun, but it was unbalanced. And I feel like now you, you know, what, wherever you were at, there was, there definitely was an attraction, but this person from the past that, maybe coming back into your life in, in which you need to make a decision with is probably a soulmate, a soulmate connection, and that's why you can't let them go. I feel like this person, whoever it is that you're thinking about, is deep, they're deeply connected to each other, and it's like, it's like an unbreakable bond. That's what I see. You know, we have the justice with the lovers, with the two of wands and the six of cups, and these, here we have these, too. This is the chariot card. I feel like there is an unbreakable bond between you and another person, Scorpio, that is meant to be. And it's undeniable. And this person is somebody that you have known before. And you are probably not with them as of yet because you are stuck in a situation. You are in limbo right now. You're in limbo trying to make this most difficult decision to free yourself from this situation that is not harmonious and not happy. You know, you're going to have to take the practical approach and free yourself because the Ten of Swords reversed is freedom. You have to free yourself from this situation and head towards this love connection that is, it's quite surreal. You know what I mean? This, this, this person, whoever it is that you are thinking about, I believe that it is a soulmate connection. This person and you can be successful together. Right now, um, it's about coming together. Okay, it's about coming together, but somebody has to take the lead. Somebody has to get. Somebody has to master their emotions and head towards this person somebody has to take action and I think that's you and I can see that you've been stalling you have you've been stalling you've been sitting in limbo but I do feel like there is like the, the, at the end of May there is a chance for a union with this soulmate of yours that could lead to a commitment that is like forever you know what I mean it's like a forever commitment that's what I see <laughs> I think this is somebody you've known since you were a child could be even somebody from a past life Either way, this lover's card is also about consequences. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Do you stay where you're not happy? Or do you move on to happiness? Right now, you're staying in a, the safe zone where you're not happy. This is the choice. You will live with those consequences. If you stay in the safe zone where it's not happy, then the consequences, unhappiness. If you move out of the safe zone and you accept this love that is meant to be, you will find victory and success. But you're going to have to make the decision in which you've been stalling. So Scorpio, I think that it's time for you to make this most difficult decision that is causing you to lose sleep. It's been causing you to be depressed and causing you to be withdrawn. 
you're thinking about giving somebody from your past another chance because the bond is undeniable. But there's somebody else in the picture, that's what it looks like to me, that may have rushed in to your life. And yeah, it was fun, but now you've come to the conclusion that it's not practical. So I feel like there's been some sort of lesson that has been learned through some sort of separation. And now there could be a coming together that is meant to be. We're going to get you guys one of these. And I can't, oh, that one flipped, so there it is. Creativity. Express your creativity. Delight in the mystery of your inner muse. Get creative with your exit. This is your exit. The Ten of Swords is your exit. Ten of Swords reversed. Many of you are in need of leaving a situation that lacks balance, lacks harmony, lacks peace, but it's safe. And you have an opportunity to unite with somebody that is meant to be. But if you stay in the safe zone, that's your consequence. Talk to you later.